Sir, welcome to this interpersonal therapy. Dr. Aishi is going to present and uh, say in our daily setup, most of the time we find problems that the patient has with his or her relationships. That okay. is number one reason of uh, you can say so. Okay, and at times you will be uh, in a fix on how to approach this. Okay. Because uh, a therapist, when he or she gets involved in the interpersonal matters, it is very difficult how to do it. So interpersonal therapy is a uh, directed way of approaching these things. It is very effective. It is uh, in major depressive disorder. There is uh, robust evidence to suggest that it is as good as CBT because interpersonal relationships are one of the most uh, significant reasons for stress. So, uh, Dr. Aishi is going to go. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to present a seminar on interpersonal therapy. Uh, interpersonal therapy is a time-limited, attachment-based psychotherapy, which focuses specifically on interpersonal relationships and social support as a point of intervention. It was originally developed by Ockler Mann and colleagues for treatment of non-bipolar, non-psychotic depressed patients. Now, characteristics of IPD. Uh, it lasts for 12 to 20 sessions over a period of four to five months. Goal is to change the relationship pattern rather than associated cognition, which we do in CBT. Focused, not open-ended, which means address, addresses one or two problems, problem area at a time. It focuses on current and not the past interpersonal relationships. It is based on the biopsychosocial bio -psychosocial model, that is biosocial, cultural, spiritual, and psychological functioning, which means biological, psychological, social, cultural, and spiritual factors uh, coalesces with uh, an individual to produce a response to stress. Uh, personality is recognized, but is not is but is not a focus in this therapy. The therapist is active, non-judgmental, communicating warmth, optimistic and supportive, and uses reassurance and direct advice when needed. The therapeutic relationship is not a manifestation of transference and is not a friendship. Now, the theories of IPT. The three theories uh, uh, of IPT, attachment theory, interpersonal theory, and social theory. Attachment theory. It describes the way in which the, an individual form, maintain, and end a relationship, as well as the ways they develop problems within them. Uh, so attachment organizes behavior in an interpersonal relationship. Human function optimally when their attachment needs are met. But when the attachment needs are unmet, which uh, they often manifest as psychiatric symptoms or as distress. So attachment style derives largely from early childhood experiences as child engages in attachment relationship with her primary care. The cumulative relationship experiences of an individual inform about what subsequent uh, new relationships will be like. So, for example, an individual who has experienced abuse will understandably and quite reasonably expect the same treatment in the new relationship. This model gives a template upon which, the, uh, upon which to predict how person will behave in different circumstances. So rather than attempting to change the patient's fundamental att attachment style, IPT focuses on helping the patient to communicate her attachment needs more directly and graciously and, help, uh, and helping her to construct a more supportive social network. Second is interpersonal therapy, which says that maladaptive at attachment style leads to inappropriate or inadequate interpersonal communication that prevents the patient's attachment need to be met. In the inadequate communication pattern lead to difficulty in the here and now, that is the current uh, uh, relationships. Now, third is a social theory which says that, uh, which is less relevant than attachment and interpersonal theory. Uh, however, it emphasizes the need for general social support in recovering uh, from depression and maintaining wellness. So, there is an interpersonal triad, triad which says that if there are attachment and biosocial uh, cultural vulnerabilities uh, during at the time of acute interpersonal crisis and if there are attachment biosocial or cultural spiritual vulnerabilities and adequate in uh, social support that will lead to distress now the techniques of ipt the techniques of ipt include clarification communication analysis problem solving and encouragement of affect 
what is clarification the aim of clarification is to foster the therapeutic alliance and to develop an understanding of patient interpersonal experiences which will help both the uh, the therapist and the patient to uh, develop an insight into his problems now clarification is an integration of directive learning empathetic li listening reflective listening and encouragement of spontaneous disclosures what is directive questioning that is guiding the patient towards a, a, the pertinent interpersonal issue empathetic listening is validating the patient experience and concerns regarding his interpersonal problems now reflective listening is ensuring that the therapist is correct, correctly uh, understanding the patient an encouragement of spontaneous disclosure which is the use of verbal and non verbal cues to encourage elaboration of a particular issue <coughs> Now, second is communication analysis. Communication analysis is a technique to identify communication difficulties in patients. So, another therapist will ask the patient to recall in great detail an important recent interaction or argument with the significant other. The therapist and the patient together will work to identify the communication difficulties and find out more effective communication strategies. Now, the goal of communication analysis are to help the therapist identify the patient communication pattern. to help the patient identify her communication uh, patterns and to help the patient to communicate more effectively the third technique is problem solving in which uh, the if there is a interpersonal uh, problem the patient and the therapist will clarify clarify specific aspect of the problem uh, then the patient and a patient generate solution uh, to the problem with the help of therapist input and then uh, we will, then he will uh, patient will implement the solution like change in the communication pattern change in the expectations or change in a social circumstances and then uh, there will be feedback and further modification so this uh, is the fundamental uh, problem solving is the fundamental intervention uh, in interpersonal therapy fourth is encouragement of effect this technique is particularly helpful in grief and uh, grief and loss and uh, grief and loss and in interpersonal disputes so there are basically two type of effect the one is process effect and other is content effect what is process effect that is uh, displayed during the at the time of therapy and what is content effect it is about the past in, if, if uh, about past event or interaction outside the therapeutic relationship example when describing the death of a spouse a uh, uh, when describing death of a spouse a year previously a patient may describe the following when the husband died i was emotionally wrecked and i was uh, really depressed i could i couldn't eat for several days i slept terribly for months which is the content effect which the patient described about his uh, her effect when the that incident happened the same patient describes the event in a therapy session she speaks in a very flat and monotonous voice or uh, is telling the story as if reporting uh, that is happened to someone else that is a process effect so there is a incongruity between this process effect and content effect so the incongruity uh, between the uh, content and the process effect will assess the patient to become aware of the emotion that he or she may be suppressing or that he or she may be aware of but is finding difficult to experience or describe now the structure of ipt ipt uh, is held in sessions or phases or uh, the assessment or initial initial phases for one to three sessions the middle phase is for 4 to 12 sessions and conclusion phase is for 1 to 2 session and then there is a maintenance phase which is as per contract in the initial phase which is for 1 to 3 sessions the therapist will accomplish the diagnosis of depression by a standard criteria and give patient a sick role now why it is important to give a patient a sick role because uh, to temporarily exempt the uh, the individual from responsibilities so as to devote full attention to the recovery uh second the other uh, complete uh, after uh, making a diagnosis we'll make a complete interpersonal inventory and relate the depression to the in interpersonal context third we will identify the major interpersonal problem so uh, from the uh, from extensive psychosocial research on uh, depression by clermann et al in 1984 four interpersonal problem areas are derived which are grief role transition interpersonal deficits and interpersonal role disputes so every depressed patient qualifies for at least one of the four problem areas the problem areas may change during the course of treatment and the last is uh, in the initial phases to identify the major interpersonal problem area associated with the onset of depression now what is interpersonal inventory 
Interpersonal inventory is a structured method of collecting interpersonal data. Uh, the features of interpersonal inventory is it includes significant current relationship, including recent roles, uh, uh, recent losses, contain detail about the development of problematic relationship, outlines general social support, include current communication problems, include current expectations about the relationship, uh, identify specific interpersonal problem areas, facilitate the planning of treatment and interventions, evolve and change during the course of IPT and serve as a monitor for progress and provide a reference point for reorienting during therapy. Now, interpersonal formulation is built upon the foundation of bio, uh, psychosocial, cultural, spiritual model, and there is a strong emphasis on both attachment and interpersonal theory. The uh, formulation includes a hypothesis regarding the patient's current functioning. And it is not static or fixed, and it should be continuously modified by collaborative efforts of the patient and the client and the clinician as the therapy proceeds. Now, the middle phase. It is for 4 to 12 session. Uh, it focuses on uh, one of the possibly two, uh, two problems, uh, one or two pro uh, possible, uh, one or two problems area per session. The therapist pursues strategies which are specific to the uh, chosen interpersonal area. Uh, they have in the middle phase the therapist has three tasks helping the patient discuss topic pertinent to the problem area attending the patient's affective state to maximize the patient's uh, intimate self disclosure and prevent the patient from sabotaging the treatment now first uh, problem area is grief in ipt there is a no uh, there is no meaningful distinction between normal and abnormal grief. grief is simply the experience of a patient falling uh, falling or anticipating a loss Grief can also result from loss of a significant relationship like a breakup or a loss of an important aspect of one's identity. Example, a, a, a women leaving a job and becoming a housewife. So grief and loss uh, problems uh, result, uh, grief and loss problem result uh, due to two factors. Because the patient's social support is not sufficient to sustain him through the experience of loss and the patient may not be communicating his needs for support in a way that means others uh, others can respond effectively. Does the uh, psychotherapist substitute for the missing social network? Now, goals of treatment for depression. Uh, the center on grief are to facilitate the delayed mourning process and to help the patient reestablish interest and relationship that can substitute for that for uh, what has been lost. Now, second is role transition. Role transition includes any significant change in life status. So, role transition can be life stage role transition. Uh, uh, example, adolescence, parenthood, aging, retirement. It can be situational role transition like a job loss, loss a promotion, graduation, migration, uh, acquisitive role transition, career advancement, a new house, financial windfall, a relationship role transition like marriage, divorce, or, or a step parenthood, and illness related role transition like diagnosis of a chronic illness and or adaptation to pain or, a pain or physical limitations. Now, role of therapy uh, includes mourning and accepting the loss of the old role and restoring the patient's self-esteem by, uh, esteem by developing a sense of mastery in the new role. Now, goals of the treatment are to review the positive and uh, negative aspects of the old and the new role, exploring the feeling about what is lost, and encourage development of social support, system, and new skill uh, called in for new role. Now, interpersonal role disputes are conflicts with the significant others. Example, a spouse or a family member, a co-worker, a close friend that emerges from differences in the expectation about the relationship. The goal of the therapy include, uh, include clearly identifying the nature of the dispute and exploring options to resolve it. Now, inter in uh, interpersonal role disputes, uh, the treatment is given as per, uh, after determining the stage of the dispute. The stage of the dispute, uh, dispute can be impasse, renegotiation, or dissolution. In impasse, the conflicts between the patient and one or more relative. There is a conflict between the patient and one or more relative. Now, the treatment is help the patient to recognize their complex mixed feelings of anger, sadness, and device strategies. Help them to reduce uh, the impulsive behavior. Now, if the relationship is in the stage of renegotiation, which implies that the patient and, and the significant other are openly aware of the differences and are actively trying, even if unsuccessfully, to bring about change. In that case, you, we have to help the patient to learn new ways to communicate and a self-assertion in order to facilitate resolution of this. In the third uh, uh, stage of the uh, uh, relationship, which is dissolution, which implies the, that the relationship is inevitably disrupted. 
we have to help the patient put the relationship in perspective and become uh, free uh, to form new attachments. Uh, fourth is interpersonal def uh, deficits, uh, which are uh, defined as patient patients significantly lacking in the social skill, resulting in problems in initiating and sustaining a relationship. So in uh, this, three tasks are involved in handling a problem of interpersonal deficits. Uh, review of the past significant relationship, including negative and positive aspects of those relationships. Exploration of repetitive problems of these relationships. And examine the nature of patient-therapist relationship, as this may be the only close relationship that can be observed and commented upon. The goal of the, uh, the treatment of interpersonal deficit is to reduce the patient's social isolation by helping them enhance the quality of existing relationship and encouraging formation of new relationships. Now, in the continuation of the acute phase, the goal of continuation of the acute phase is to facilitate patients' independent functioning, to enhance patients' sense of competence, uh, to reinforce new communication behavior, to reinforce the use of social support, and to, con uh, to contract for the provision of, uh, provision of continuing mainten maintenance treatment if needed. Maintenance treatment, uh, maintenance in IPT is less frequent and less intense. It is designed to maintain functioning and to prevent return of the symptoms. Now, goal of maintenance treatment are to review the original pro problem and, pro uh, and the progress being made, to consider new problems that can be dealt with uh, preventively, to continue to maximize the patient's interpersonal functioning, and to provide a continuing relationship for resumption of acute treatment if needed. Now, applications of interpersonal psychotherapy apart from uh, depression, uh, IPT in, the, in late, uh, late life depression. Uh, Renal and colleagues have adapted IPT for geriatric patients and their, modi uh, their modification placed particular emphasis upon grief and loss and role transitions. Uh, so in this, IPT is provided its shorter session and is flexible with problems such as hearing impairment or uh, decreased mobility. Now, IPT for uh, cognitively impaired elderly. Miller and colleagues adapted IPT for cognitively impaired elderly by, in uh, by engaging both the caregivers and the patient through the therapy. A great emphasis is placed on pro, uh, providing the caregiver with extensive e education about depression, dementiating illness, cognitive impairment, and its potential effect upon interpersonal functions. IPT in perinatal women, modification include integration of the partner and focus on psychoeducation about child development and perinatal sexual functioning that might impact the current depression. IPT for dysthymic disorders. In this IPT, the, uh, the focus is given only on the acute stressor and focus on the acute problem area. Treatment will be lengthier because the patient's paucity of interpersonal support and attachment insecurities and maintenance treatment plays a critical role in these patients. IPT in bipolar disorder, it was uh, uh, Frank Ittal have integrated IPT, uh, naming it Interpersonal and Social Rhythm Th Therapy, IPSRT. In IPSRT, IPT component assists patient to adapt to and cope up with the multiple psychosocial and relationship problem associated with bipolar disorder. Then IPT in eating disorder. Uh, Fairburn and co-workers have developed IPT in uh, eating disorder. Uh, the CBT was superior to IPT, while the CBT was superior to IPT at the end of acute treatment, IPT uh, is found to be equally beneficial at long-term follow-ups. And the efficacy for IPT in anorexia nervosa is less convincing. IPT in borderline personality disorders, it, uh, it is done in two phases and it includes 34 IPT sessions which are done over eight months. So in the first 18 IPT se sessions, which are done in uh, uh, four months, uh, the goal is to establish therapeutic alliance, limit uh, self-destructive behavior, and explain IPT model and provide initial symptomatic relief. And con a continuation phase of another 16 session uh, uh, in as many weeks as possible. The goal uh, of the continuation phase uh, treatment include developing more adaptive interpersonal skill and maintaining a strong therapeutic alliance as the termination approaches. These are my references. Interpersonal 
and his relationship to patient the patient alone is the classical so basically interpersonal therapy is the teaching that should public health. The model interpersonal therapy is the practice and the patient. You are teaching the patient to deal with his problems. So it is not you want to improve. It is not necessary, but it is not required to improve the other person.
chapter in IDD, uh, we are mainly focused on the interpersonal uh, disputes and mm -hmm. not the cognition behind uh, the reason behind this. We are we are just uh, focused on uh, resolving. Both, both, both areas are like this, right? We can we are we are concerned about concerned about the. जो करते हैं वो चार चार Yes, only this clarification, communication analysis, problem solving, and encouragement of that. CBT may get up there. Try to change the formation of the thinking pattern so as to modify the behavior. Question. Question. You don't suggest solutions. Okay. It comes to you that uh, what should I do? You don't give solutions. So interpersonal therapy is a bit different in that where the can suggest action. Okay. Are there any specific uh, uh, areas where you think the therapist can suggest an action. In interpersonal therapy, the, the therapist can can suggest action. Yet you can do this. Okay, or this may be better. In pro specifically in problem solving. Okay. And one of the things that you can do is like in the dissolution of relations because sometimes the person is hanging on to a relationship where all the indications are that the patient has you know, it is in the uh, phase where it is not you can resolve it. Okay, so you there uh, from interpersonal conflict it moves to bereavement. Okay. So you can say that it is not like whatever the phases may have impasse. Impasse is like both of them are not talking. Like they have hit a like a roadblock. Renegotiation where they both are interested and then there is dissolution. Okay. So you are talking to the patient. No. So no patient will come to if the pay, why it is there in a stage may have a conflict man. Yeah, the interpersonal deficits, it is not in belief. All right. So if you are seeing interpersonal deficits and the person is saying that, and it is so that the uh, internalizing, so the problem, the problem is also that the person is not satisfied, I am not able to do anything. But depressed person may not be able to see the, you can say, hostile behavior of the partner. Okay, so instead of you know, putting all the blame on himself, that okay, I deserve to be beaten, he's getting angry sometimes, not able to work, that is why. So you you have to suggest that uh, when you say it's dissolution, then you move to bereavement. Because then there is loss of relationship. Okay, so and in interpersonal therapy, while doing the therapy, you can suggest some. In the goal, you can suggest actions. Okay, that's it. In CBT, you never do. In CBT, you don't suggest any actions. In CBT, it is like you retrain the cognition. Right? Socratic questioning, works, finding uh, cognitive, uh, you can say distortions, and then you give out more alternative cognitive. Things and then you replace one with them, right? So that is quite different from interpersonal. Okay. No, I would like that I feel like if, you, if every patient who can like depression may just be a CBT so that it will be effective in all the relationships. On the patient. CBT is a very bad I think 
Actually, every component has like you know they in the last we have like these guys. So you know the link which are the kind of smiling guys. I P T जो component है these that every stress is positive. Like if a depressed patient is there, so the stress he feels that he's not able to work and he's not able to cope with his side. Maybe it is because of boss, it is to be with his caregivers. So that feedback that he's getting, that feeling that he's getting that he's not doing well in society, that is the cause of major depression. So they think that you can do it in every every situation you find is where you can uh, can be helped. But yes, sometimes it's not. Yeah, because it is like it is uh, one of the recommended therapies for mild to moderate depression, which can be given. To, it can be offered to every patient. See, okay. You have a question? You have one question. Teaching them how to deal with your problem, not to discuss, not not to solve their problem. Yeah, comments about the parents. Obsessed with CBT, but seeing our cultural, you know, we have we have a different culture from where the it is more individualistic. So the focus is on an individual and his his cognition. And whereas here, uh, there is we never see a patient alone, no family members, except the whole family. Interpersonal therapy for me is something that should be promoted more there because and we have some structured. Way of dealing with this problem. Why we don't want to get involved is that the again the therapist gets sucked in. So यहाँ पे patient भी नहीं, caregiver भी boundaries तोड़ करके फिर वो phone करे आगे सारे सुन देखिए आज खाना नहीं खाया, फिर से ना पैसे तोड़ रहा है. So these kind of thing you don't want to get involved. So that is the reason why we want to stay away from this kind of discussion. Give only medicines, but this is how if you want if you want to do this at all, you find the area. So you know what to do. You find the area where there is uh, there are major conflicts. Try to resolve it. Sometimes only questioning is enough. Okay, for example, old disputes. Okay, a uh, 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 drug. यहाँ पे आते हैं ये मेरे को जान नहीं देते बाहर, है ना? और ये मेरे को हमेशा नजर आता है. So just ask okay, so what do you think is the role of your pain? What role should we appoint? Should they let you do whatever you want, or do you think that they should be I mean, some surveillance on you. Do you think that if they would have had surveillance on you, you would have come to this 
so they are also now being they over acting ki pehle to bilkul relax tha but sada chala these kind of things you know what to do okay so that's it very good solution to try Gracias.